Well, let's talk about the difference of an F-18 to an F-35. In Canada, I was the first young pilot selected to fly the F-18. I flew it 34 years ago. I was the display pilot with the F-18 at the Paris Air Show 31 years ago. I commanded a fighter wing in combat over Kosovo and Serbia in 1999. I have 2,000 hours in the F-18. I love the airplane, everything it does. It's a fabulous multi-role fighter, especially in the environment in Canada. It was terrific for doing those missions. But we're 35 years later, and technologies are so advanced. There's nothing in our home today that is 35 years old. And so we jump ahead in technologies. We jump ahead with touch screens and a Tony Stark helmet and the ability to fly in a stealth airplane that no one can see. And then to have sensors that see 360 degrees around the pilot for hundreds of kilometers and presented on those touch iPad type screens, that's as high tech as anyone could imagine. It's so dramatically different than what I grew up in, in the F-18. Uh, the F-18 was a fabulous aircraft to fly, still is. So was the F-16, so was the Eurofighter Typhoon. The F-35 is the simplest aircraft to fly that any of us, of the 600 people that fly it, that any of us have ever flown, easiest. And that's because our real job is to manage the information on the screens in front of us. And our job is not to fly the aircraft anymore. Yeah. So we've made that easy because we want the men and women fighter pilots to manage all that we present in front of them on the screens.